Sometimes we want the notes of a melody to sound connected. And when we want the notes of a melody to sound connected, we call that style of playing legato. That just means connecting the notes of the melody. And we use a musical symbol to show that we want to, to perform a particular melody uh, legato. And that, that musical symbol is known as a slur. S-L-U-R. And you see a slur here. Um, in example number 2A, you actually see several slurs in example number 2A of microcosmos. Our first slur is this line that's connecting the, the first C in the right hand with the E that's way over here. And that slur simply means play those notes in a connected style. Make it, make it so that the sound never stops from the beginning of that musical phrase to the end. Let me show you what that, what that means just uh, in sound. If I were to play the first phrase here, um, but leave a little bit of space between each of the notes, here's what it would sound like. Now I'm going to play this passage legato as the slur tells me to play. And notice how the sound changes. You're not going to hear any break in between the sound. That is playing legato. And, and in just a second, we'll take a look at how do you actually achieve that physically at the piano. The opposite of legato um, is when we have a, sort of a detached feeling to the notes, and we call that staccato. Um, in staccato, there is, is separation between the notes. Let me, let me play for you what the staccato would sound like. And generally, we, we show staccato, or one of the ways that we show staccato is by putting a little dot above the note head, since I don't really have a place to do that uh, in example number 2A. Let me just write some note heads down here, and I'll give you a sense of what that looks like. A little dot um, right above the note head. So for instance, let's put a note head right here. Here's a note head. A little dot that looks like this. Uh, if I do it on the staff, look something like this. That tells you that you're going to play this note staccato. I, I don't believe we'll actually see uh, a lot of staccato in the uh, in the book one of Microcosmos, but it's, it's good to know because it is a musical symbol uh, you will very soon encounter in your life. So those are the two ways of playing. Let's see how, how we actually achieve that, though, at the piano keyboard. So here's what legato looks like physically at the piano. I'm not going to finish one note until I'm the exact moment that I'm starting the next note. Notice how that sound is unbroken. I could do it sort of like this. leave a little bit of space in between there. And in some circumstances, we may want to do that. But when we're playing legato, we don't. We want to keep that sound continuous. Lifting the finger as the next finger is coming down. Giving it that, that unbroken sound. The opposite is staccato. And sort of the traditional way that we teach staccato, the detached style, is that there's there's a, a movement of the wrist, almost a bouncing of the wrist. We won't see any staccato in, in the, the book one exercises of microcosmos, but, but you may encounter them at some point. Um, down the line. You almost certainly will encounter them at some point down the line.